Hey guys, Nick Jones here for PBCastTV.com, and uh, you'll have to spare me about the lighting. I know this is really the first time that I've ever done an unboxing on this channel, youtube.com slash PBCastTV. And I know as the new year approaches, a lot of people are making resolutions. One of my New Year's resolutions, though very, you know, I don't know, it, it, as stupid as it may sound, is to do some of these unboxings, to do hardware reviews. I'm going to be doing a lot of hardware reviews in the upcoming weeks and months on youtube.com slash pbcasttv so make sure you are subscribed um, a lot of the stuff I've bought with my Christmas money because I mostly I got money for Christmas which is always great and I ordered this from Amazon this is the Microsoft Arc keyboard um, it retails for 40 bucks on Amazon the black version does but right now they're having a sale on the white version which was uh, 27 bucks I do believe and I got this on Amazon Prime uh, which is always great, and I'll probably make a video about that one day. Uh, so let's just go through it. It's a very slim keyboard. Very, really reminds me of the Apple wireless keyboard, and uh, their slogan here is uh, style. It's not in focus. Uh, style that works. Microsoft Art keyboard. As you can see, no number pad. Um, I'm not. I'm kind of bummed about that, but not that bad. So on the back here, it says show it off, clean lines, and an eye-catching shape complement your style. Here, there, everywhere, lightweight, compact, and uh, perfect for to fit anywhere for use. And uh, be free, a stowable nano transceiver for wireless freedom. As you can see here, it's universal. It works with Mac, Windows, and um, presumably Linux as well, which is what I'm going to be using it for. So uh, right here you can just see uh, standard Microsoft keyboard uh, thing. So let me take it off camera here so I don't slice my finger open. Standard unboxing knife. I know you guys like to take pride in looking at the knife sometimes. I don't know why, but anyway. So um, this is a really nice keyboard. It's, it caught my eye since about a couple months ago. I think this has been out for about four or five months now. Uh, but I haven't really needed a new keyboard until I'm building my new PC, so I need one. So here it is. I uh, wouldn't want to take it out without you guys. Looks really like the uh, Apple um, presentation here, which I think is what they're going for. Uh, so let's just take it out, and it's in this really nice, uh, I don't know, it's, it kind of feels like a byproduct. As you can see, the recycled logo there, I think it's a, a recyclable type deal. Really light on first impressions, but let's go through here. I think this is a driver pack or something. Uh, install guide. Ah, no, no uh, CDs. That's kind of odd. Sometimes they'll include CDs. But no, this is uh, start here, which is, you know, very easy. And also the user manual. Yeah, I don't read user manuals, so that's going in the trash. And then uh, all we have left here is the batteries. Uh, so really minimalist. Um, uh, what am I looking for? Packaging there, so that's always cool to see Microsoft going with that. Uh, I really got this because I was kind of, since I am building a new PC that's going to run off Ubuntu and maybe some other Linux distros, I was kind of worried about doing, um, uh, going with an Apple wireless keyboard, which is, of course, Bluetooth. Um, so, you know, I was worried about compatibility issues, pardon me as I throw that away. But anyway, let's go ahead and get it out of this pouch here. Uh, this is the black version. I don't know if I said that. You can probably tell by the packaging. Whoops. If I can get it out here. So here it is. It's very lightweight, and as you can, you can't, you guys may not be able to see, but it has a very distinguished curve to it. Um, no rock whatsoever to it, uh, which is a problem I've had. This is not a gaming keyboard, first off, because as you can see, the directional pad is. Not really a directional pad. That's what you get as a directional pad, and that's really how they keep it uh, very sleek and very easy to use. You've got your standard F keys here, volume up and down, which is nice to have, and also a mute button, Windows key. Uh, so it's really your standard keyboard. Um, it does require AA battery or AAA batteries, my bad, uh, which is cleverly disguised right here. Pull this off. And uh, you can simply simply slide the batteries in. What I could tell on the internet from other reviews, this does have very nice battery life. And the cool thing is, you got these you know rubber stoppers here, wide on the bottom as you can tell, and it's got a mag magnetic um, holder for the nano uh, wireless receiver thing. So that's always cool. Uh, you guys make sure to check out the channel. 
um, youtube.com slash pbcasttv for a full review of this later. I'm going to be able to use it for a couple weeks and uh, give you my full review. So make sure to check out pbcasttv.com and also twitter.com slash thatnickjones for all the latest updates. So until next time, guys, with the Microsoft Art keyboard, I'm Nick Jones. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye.